Hello and welcome to X Witness Awake. I am Jonathan. Um, as you can see, my hair gel has decided to give it up. <laughs> I probably should probably cut my hair. I don't know. I gotta figure out this whole hairstyle thing. But anyway, I'm taking a little bit of a break while cleaning. And I was just uh, thinking about a subject of um, the Holy Spirit. You know, elders are supposed to be appointed by Holy Spirit. Um, it's supposed to be God appointing the elders. Um, we know that elders are not perfect and they make mistakes. Um, but if it's God's Holy Spirit that is actively in force, um, how would they make so many mistakes? Throughout the organization all over the world, you're supposed to be able to basically go to any kingdom hall and you should find everything's the same earthwide, right? Because it's all supposed to be Jehovah's organization, no matter what language, no matter what culture, you're going to find, you know, people in suits and ties and, and dresses, and uh, they're going to be singing songs, and they'll be giving talks in their language. Uh, they're going to go out and go door to door to talk to people when there's not COVID on. Um, and you're going to find elders that are supposed to be using God's Holy Spirit. So when they talk to you, they should basically have similar conclusions for whatever subject it might be, whatever they're talking about, whatever they're trying to encourage you or give you some spiritual advice or whenever they get you in the back room and talk to you, it should, in theory, be the same. But every case seems to be different. Um, I was thinking about when I was younger. I used to be uh, close friends with the son of the um, of the CEO. The um, no, yeah, con congregation overseer is called back then. Um, I don't know what it's called now. It'd be the coordinator of the body of elders, the Kobe. Anyway, uh, it was a different time. And, uh, you know, I would go to their house all the time and we'd hang out and, you know, we were very close friends. Um, in fact, I look back on that and I miss that sort of thing, you know, when you're young and you're a teenager or you're like an early, a young adult. And, you know, it's just not a whole lot of responsibility and fun and stuff like that. Uh, anyway, um, I was out of high school and I had a job at a grocery store. Um, I was bagging groceries and then I got promoted to the um, produce department. So I was doing that and um, it was a decent job, but anyway, not important. Uh, there was a girl there who started paying attention to me. And so I started paying attention to her. Uh, it never got to anything super serious. I mean, she wasn't like a girlfriend or anything like that. But we just, you know, she paid attention to me and I we talked and stuff. And, um, you know, we got a little physical, made out some, you know, that double life stuff. <laughs> um, it was a poor choice because she was not at all good for me, you know. But anyway, that's a different part. Um point was is I, I started to uh, become irregular going to the meetings and going in service. And I remember I got to a point to where I was going to be counted as an irregular publisher. And so the elders talked to me and they said, you know, what's going on? And um, they basically didn't want 
me to mess up the record of the congregation, so they encouraged me to get out in the field ministry and stuff. Uh, but also, um, they wanted to have a talk with me in the back room. Well, I was a little bit scared to do that, so I didn't show up to it because, you know, I didn't want to get in trouble. Um, so then uh, my friend's dad, the CO, or PO, presiding overseer, that's what it was, PO, back then, um, he pulled me aside and had, you know, I, I came to his house and he just, he asked about it and I said that there was this girl that, you know, I was talking to at work and stuff and, and so I know that certain questions they're supposed to ask you and certain procedures they're supposed to do. Like it's supposed to be two elders. Um, you know, when they would have a prayer and they would do certain things, there's a certain way that you're supposed to do it. But because I was close friends with, with his son, he said, uh, were you intimate with her? And I said, yes, because I considered intimate to make out with her. He said, did you have the sex? Which I thought was really funny. In hindsight, did you have the sex? And I said, no, no, I didn't do that. He said, okay. He said, do you like being friends with my son? I said, yes. He said, well, then you need to stop it. You need to <laughs> stay away from her. And that was it. I didn't get reproved. I didn't, like any other situation, most definitely somebody would have got reproved for that. So I, uh, privately reproved. I didn't get anything because I was buddies with with the PO's son. Um, so I don't feel like there was a whole lot of Holy Spirit in operation in this particular meeting. Um, yeah, it just, just looking back on it, it was just sort of like, hey, hey knock it off. <laughs> okay. And I, I stopped talking to her. So, uh, yeah. Good times. And there's another instance I want to talk about. So it was after I, now mind you, that was, I, I used to be, I'm from the United States. I live in Canada. Um, so that was when I was way young, that first instance. This is something that happened that I'm going to talk about when I, after I moved to Canada, I was married. So um, I was a bit of an artist and I wanted to improve my skills. So I and a couple of people went to um, a life drawing class and just, you know, drew figures. Because um, I wanted to be better at that. I mean, I could draw faces pretty good, but drawing bodies and, you know, it is kind of difficult if you don't train yourself to do it right. And uh, it came out that I went to a couple of these life drawing classes. So a couple of elders were talking to me about that. And one elder was kind of a boisterous older uh, one. And then the other elder was uh, a younger one that actually knew me from before. Um, so the one elder was like, well, that's just wrong. Like you can't go and do that. That's, that's pornea to, to view these naked people, even if it's for drawing. Okay. Um, so back then we used to have the books, book study, right? And in the book study arrangement, the particular home that we went to in the place, the room that we had conducted the book study the couple that had it, who was a ministerial servant, had a statue of a naked woman, like a piece of art. Um, I think it had like a plant around it and it's, anyway, it was like a bronze kind of dealio. So that was in the same room as the book study was being conducted. And I had been to that particular elder's home on occasion and in his own bathroom, 
was a decal of a mermaid, a topless mermaid. I don't know why he had this. Whatever. <laughs> Teach their own. But yeah, it was a decal. It was stylized. It wasn't like like uh, photorealistic or anything, but it was artistically done. This mermaid in his own bathroom. And so I said to him, like, isn't that a little hypocritical to tell me about viewing a nude figure when you in fact have this at the book study and in your own bathroom? And he was just like, oh, well, um, I didn't know about that. Come on, man, this is where you have a shower and take a dump every day. You're telling me you don't realize that you have this sticker on your, on your shower door? <laughs> Come on. So I don't feel like the Holy Spirit was in operation in that one either because uh, I basically shut him down by, by that because there's no way that he could, you know, unhypocritically uh, get me in trouble for this. So it just kind of got dismissed. They didn't. Like he said, okay. And <laughs> he just sort of dismissed it like, yeah, I guess you got me there. <laughs> so, yeah. As far as elders being appointed by Holy Spirit, and as far as uh, elders operating with Holy Spirit, it sure doesn't feel like it. And that's all I got today for my uh, my story time. <laughs> Boy, I don't miss going to meetings, and I don't miss talking to elders about ridiculous stuff. I'm happy to live my life the way that I want to live my life and, you know, spend time with my family, and I don't have to deal with it anymore. So, thank you for listening, and I will catch you next time. Have yourself a great day, and I'll talk to you later. Oh,